Hello everyone, welcome to Weekly Devotion with Selma Mercy. This is the last week of April and we've been studying and having a discussion about trusting in the Lord and I hope this encourages you every single week. We need to keep trusting in the Lord. We tend to put our trust on something, someone, but the ultimate thing that we should put our trust is in the Lord. Amen. So this week Bible verse is interesting. Let me read it from Romans chapter 12 verse 19. It says, Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. This is an interesting one. Sometimes life can be unfair. Sometimes you face some unfairness thing in your life. What do you do? Do you take revenge? The Bible tells us that trust in the Lord and leave it for God to do the justice. This is amazing. As a believer in God, when people do unfair things, when people do bad things to us, we need to submit to the Lord, trust in the Lord, and we need to ask the Lord to take control of every situation. Amen? So I want to encourage you three things. Don't take revenge. Leave it to God. Don't take revenge. Don't pay back evil by evil. Amen? We need to overcome, the Bible says, evil with good things. The second thing is, forgive them. We need to forgive those people that wrong us. It is a difficult thing to ask, but trust me, we need to trust in the Lord, leave it for God, forgive them, God will do His part. The third thing is, hopeful God will do the best on behalf of you. God is a judge God. God loves righteousness. God loves justice things. And whatever you are facing in life right now, pray about it. Pray for those people that hurt you did wrong things to you, pray for them, bless them, forgive them, and the Bible says that God will repay on behalf of you. Amen? That takes trusting in the Lord as well. That's why I want to encourage you. Life may throw at you very bad things, but keep trusting the Lord. Pray about it. Commit your ways to the Lord. Leave it for God. Amen. I hope this encourages you and give you a heart to forgive someone in your life. Amen. God bless you all. I will see you in the month of May.